Hello everyone, it's Rebecca from The Glitch Stitchery. I'm here today with something very different. Um, it's not fiber related at all. So if you're only here for yarn content, uh, you can leave now. <laughs> and I apologize for any noises behind me. Both the heat and the refrigerator just decided to click on. Because of course they did. So, I had wanted to do maybe once a month like a fountain pen related video instead of just my yarn related videos. Um, because I do use them a lot, and this is going to be in addition to the, the yarn related videos. It's not like instead of, you'll still be getting the same number of yarn videos a month. But it does seem worth it, to me at least, to um, show you something that I do fairly often. Because it's fun. So, I'm going to be filling my pens today. Some of them are new pens. We're going to test the pens out. And I also have one new to me ink. So I'm going to show you my process for swatching out a new ink. And uh, I'm just going to talk through it a bit. So, first off, I had just finished cleaning all the pens. They're all ready to go. All sitting here ready to be used. Uh, one of them is getting a cartridge today instead of an actual fill because I bought some cartridges from a color I had never used before. So I have a bronze Lamy cartridge. So I'm going to just pop that into the aquamarine sapphire. So let's see. And cartridges are by far the easiest method for filling pens. Let's see, you can see that, right? I did swap in a different nib. I really like this style of nib. It's from, um, it's an LX nib. So it's from the LX line of Safari. No, a All Stars, something like that. And I just really like this style more. So I swapped them in. And cartridge, Lamy cartridges are shaped funny. And they just kind of pop in. And you will hear a click sometimes, but not always. You can kind of feel when it's on there. And then the, this is brand new, so the threads are a little stiff. What in the world is going on there? One second. <laughs> oh, there's like some manufacturing dust on the threads. It's not letting me screw it on all the way. There we go. Okay, and as an ink window, Let's see if I can get it running. It can take a few minutes. Uh, I'll do that all at the end, I think. Just do them all at once to get them running. So we'll set that one aside. Everything else is going to be filled with either an eyedropper or a converter. So I'm going to do the, t the um... yeah, let's do the, the converter ones first. So I have a list. I wrote out ahead of time what inks I wanted and what pens. So I'm just going to go through that to put them all in the correct ones. Let's start with the other Lamy. Where are you? That one is getting J. Herbin Rose Cyclamen. Okay. I love this color. If you are a fountain pen person and you're watching this and you're like mentally screaming at me for something I'm doing, just let me know. <laughs> and set that ink in the back. I have like a small uh, dresser for all my inks. So when I'm done, they'll all go back in the drawers and it's organized like drawers are for specific colors. All right, let's see. Where are you on the list so I can write you down? J. Herbin. Rose Cyclamen. I love this color. It's one of my favorites. Definitely one of my top two J. Herbin colors. <laughs> Where is it? Erbon? Er I'm not much for pronunciation. I'm, I'm sorry. All right, what next? I have two 
Pilot Custom Heritage 74s to fill. Um, what colors had I picked for those? It looks like the the Merlot one is getting Monteverde DC Super Show Teal and the Teal Pen is getting Diamine Apple Glory. Side note, I just put in an order for a whole bunch of new Diamine inks. And yet, yet again, I'm like, is it Diamine or Diamine? I have never been to a pen show or even a pen shop. I buy everything online, so I'm just like, I don't really know. <laughs> That's okay. So, I just switched to the, I think they're called the Con 50 converter for these. So this is my first time using that converter. I'm a little nervous about that. But, I did watch a video on how to do it, so hopefully I will get it right. in there and then I have to hit this really fast. Ah, yeah that worked. Okay, that's there's still some air in there. Let's see if I can Ha! Okay, the video was right. That was not hard at all. Cool. I've been using the um much smaller converters that are like a piston fill for these, but I'm kind of sick of using them because they hold hardly anything and then I empty them in like a day. So there's that one and I'll put it back in its body. So it goes in this one. And I do like the Custom Heritage 74 quite a bit. So there's the Merlot. I wouldn't mind getting a Grenadine in the future. I, that's a more recent color I think but it's like a orangey red it's really pretty all right I have so many diamine inks and every time they get a bunch of new colors at Colt pens because Colt pens gets like a ridiculous number of exclusive colors I have to put in an order and get a bunch of new inks so you're gonna see like eight new inks coming at some point, but Colt Pens is in the UK, so it'll be a while. All right, let's see if I can replicate this success a second time. Hmm, maybe not. <laughs> Come on. There we go. Give it a moment to let the bubbles settle. Okay, cool. I did it. Alright, so there's that one. Clean it off again. It's good to have a lot of like random old uh, washcloths that you dedicate to ink. <laughs> Actually, there was like a set of random washcloths at a local discount store that were none of them matched. They were just like a bunch of random ones from sets where the packaging had gotten messed up and they just bundled them together for like a dollar. So that's what I bought. Alright. This is the Custom Heritage 74 in teal. Really pretty. This one is, this is the first time I filled this one. This is a new pen. All right, um, then I have my two sailors to fill. One of them is getting a brand new ink. So we're gonna show you how to, how I personally handle swatching a new ink. But first we're gonna fill this one. So the um, Sailor Pro Gear Slim in Lucky Charm with a Zoom nib. Both of mine have Zoom nibs. We're gonna fill that with Diamine Soft Mint, which is one of my absolute favorite ink colors. I use it a lot. I just really like the nib on this one. It's like a bicolor nib. It's really pretty. All right. And I just got new converters so that they would kind of match better. So I got the blue one for the Lucky Charm. And I got the green one for the blue-green nebula. So that was fun. I have a couple other converters I bought as well for some pens I have coming. Because I just thought it would be fun for them to match. Alright. So there's that. 
Set that aside. The only issue I have, well, okay, I have two issues with Sailor. Maybe three if I'm being picky, but the two big ones are that their converters don't really hold very much. So this will be empty very quickly if I'm drawing with it. And then the second issue is that they make this part here really hard to get in and clean. <laughs> um, I'm working on it, but I'm gonna do it again with my next cleaning of it. I think I know what I'm gonna do next time, but I just find it a little difficult. All right, so oh, I haven't been writing these. I'll do it at the end. I have an ink journal where I write down what colors I've filled each time I fill. So I forgot to do that for like all of these, but I will do it at the end. All right, new ink, new pen. All right, set this little basket aside for right now. So I bought Sailor 464. They have a ton of colors and they just kind of they have a lot of them that they just number at this point instead of naming. So when I get a new ink, I have a color ring, and I swatch them and write the name of it underneath. And then when I first try the new ink, although I, I write on it in the back with what the pen is, what the nib is, and then just a little scribble to see how the color comes out. Because colors look differently swatched versus written or drawn with. And I just realized I am almost all the way through this coloring, so I'm gonna have to buy a new one soon. Anyway, sometimes I will buy samples, and I actually have a bunch of samples right now, and I'll swatch those out, but then I won't end up buying the ink. So those ones don't stay in the coloring, I, I transfer those out. But for inks that I own, they get a little swatch. So I write the name of the ink. Doesn't I'm not particularly anal about this part. So Sailor four six four. I don't really care what orientation the writing is compared to the swatch or anything like that. I don't actually own that many Sailor inks, but they have so many cool colors. I wouldn't mind buying more. Ooh, that's pretty. Alright. And that's what these are for. You can't see it very well on camera, but it's a really pretty teal. It's like the exact same color as the Lamy Aquamarine Safari, actually. So let's get this filled up. Come on. Yeah, garbage converter. I'm not really a huge fan of converters in general. Build up. A lot of really nice pens you can only use with a converter, and the nib is more important to me than filling mechanism anyway. You see the glitter in the body? It's so pretty. Okay. So that yeah, it's already dry. They dry really fast, which is nice. So, Sailor Zoom Nib 14 Carat. Ta-da! So that's just how I go through and sample new inks. And I'm gonna have to do that with a lot of my samples I ordered as well. But once I get it sampled, I, cause it's on like a ring thing, take it out and I page through to the correct color family. This is actually the color family I have the most inks for. <laughs> I like teal. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I'd say it'll go around there. And I just put it in the right spot. So that way if I'm looking for a specific ink or I'm trying to match an ink to a pen, I can just page through and compare all the colors all at once. So that works fairly well. All right, cool. So 
the ink journal I was talking about. I'm going to do that now so that it is done. I still have the two, um, what do you call them, eyedropper fill pens to do, but we will do that last. So I just got this notebook at Target and the paper is surprisingly very fountain pen friendly. Like a lot of cheaper papers, the pens will bleed through the page or feather, but I'm not having any bleeding. Right, there we go, yeah, no bleeding. And uh, it's just taking to it really well. So this, I bought this so that I can log what colors I have loaded in any particular pen. So this one goes right here. Sailor, uh, what was it? Four, four, six, four. And this is a Zoom nib, so it's really chunky. But Zoom nibs are actually my favorite Sailor nib. So that's why I have two of them. All right, so there's that one. And then this one was loaded with, I've already forgotten. <laughs> this is why I write everything down. Everything. Diamine Soft Mint. Okay. Interestingly, this one is also a Zoom nib, but it is way less smooth. So I'm not sure if it's because of the plating or if it's just random. But the Blue Green Nebula is much more smooth. I will say that it looks like the Sailor 464 did feather a tiny bit on this paper, but not too bad. Alright, what else do I have? I have not gotten this one running yet because I rinsed them out when I first get them, so it still has water in the feed. So we will come back to that one. Um, let me pull out my pen case. We can go through and do this all properly. So. Red Pilot Falcon gets a Pilot Cartridge. And the reason for that is they are both broad nibs and I was running through ink way too fast with the converter. So I just use cartridges for the Falcons. And then I can just swap them in constantly. All right, the Merlot got Monteverde Super Show Teal. I have so many teals. This could have been like literally any teal. I have so many. <laughs> All right, cool. Um, and then this one got, what color did I put this in? Apple Glory, okay. Trying not to smudge anything. There we go. That is one of my favorite green inks because it's the right balance of bright green, but also, yes, this is definitely green. You know what I mean? Like, it's a good green. All right, this one I didn't fill today, but I filled it a couple days ago. So this one has Lamy Azurite, which is one of my favorite purples. It's great. And this one also gets a pilot cartridge because it's a falcon. I have like a whole bowl of pilot cartridges on my desk because I go through cartridges so fast with these and I just swap in a new cartridge. <laughs> it works really well. So I will show you what my pen case looks like at the moment. So we got all of the gorgeous teals and blues and I got two reds. I have another red on the way and I have a yellow on the way which does not match the theme but it's a really nice yellow so that's the Lucina actually that is out for delivery today so I am gonna fill it but I didn't want to wait for this video so plus I wanted to do, run some tests on that model it's a new to me model all right let's see if I can get the aquamarine running now that it's been sitting in the pen for a bit. Oh, it's doing something. I don't know if that's the full, <laughs> shaking the camera when I scribble, sorry. Let's try here. All right, I think there's still some water in the feed, but I filled it with a Lamy bronze. Cartridge. 
cartridge. So I will um, fix that after I get the rest of the water out of the feed. That's a fairly common thing for me. <laughs> Alright, so the last two pens I have to fill today until the Lucina arrives in like an hour or two are these two. So these two live on my desk. Um, this one is a Moonman C1 demonstrator. And I swapped in a Franklin Kristoff broad nib. And this one is a Pen BBS 491 in clear. And I swapped in a Yovo, I think that's how you pronounce that, Yovo stub nib. So these are both really nice pens actually. Like they, they're not expensive at all, but they work really, really well, especially with the new nibs. So I am going to be using them to try out some samples. Because I want to try some new colors. It's been a while. So I've got Diamine Blue Peppermint, Monte Verde Chameleon, Private Reserve Sepia, Noodler's Sequoia Green. Um, two of these I did pick out, but most of it I just picked the surprise me thing. So it's just a bunch of surprise ones. So Noodler's Navy, Pilot Irish Izuku Kurosame. Actually, I've always wanted to try that one, so that looks good. Uh, Monte Verde Purple Mist. Ooh, that looks pretty. Diatramontis Purple Violet. Ooh, uh, crap. This is going to be a hard choice for me. And Noodler's Anti Tam or however you pronounce that. How do you pronounce that? Not a clue. It's a type of red, I know that much. I remember that one. So, I can only pick two for right now. Um, this one has like a red, purple grip section. So let's go with, I really wanna try the purple mist. And for this one, since I've already done a purple that, eliminate the other purple. I already know what sequoia green looks like and I don't want a brown right now. Um, let's go with a glitter ink. Let's go with blue peppermint. Especially since I just ordered some more glitter inks and I want to see how well they actually run in my pen. So before I do anything else I do need to swatch these and it's the same process as before. So I just take my whatever black waterproof pen I have nearby. <laughs> and I write the names. Purple violet. And note to self, order another coloring next time you buy pen stuff. Ironically, I bought this sample and then I'm pretty sure yesterday when I placed the Colt pens order that I bought a whole bottle of it before actually trying it. So, <laughs> so uh, yeah, hopefully I like it as much as I think I will. Let's get that open. So these are eyedropper fill, which means exactly what you think it would mean. But you take an eyedropper or a blunt nose syringe and you fill the whole body of the pen with ink. And they do have built-in um, O-rings. You can see, it's like that rubber ring right there that helps prevent ink from leaking out. It makes a good seal. But I also put silicone grease around the threads just to be extra certain, because I, I really don't want inks leaking out everywhere. All right. Sometimes I use Twisbees for the, ooh, that is gorgeous. I kind of need this purple now. <laughs> All right, let's fill up this thing. Being stubborn. There we go. You can't see what I'm doing, but I'm just filling my syringe. I 
mean, the sample's not a huge amount of ink, of course. It's a sample, but... I wish I could remember where I put the uh, blunt tip syringe ends so that I could get into the edges of the sample container better, but I have no idea where I put those. They could be anywhere. And if you don't like getting messy, this probably isn't a good hobby for you. I don't personally mind it. Oh, look at that, I love it. <laughs> All right, let's see. I need a piece of scrap paper. I just scribble until I get it running because when you first put the ink in it hasn't gone through the um the feed yet so it hasn't actually reached the nib and it can take a minute of scribbling just to get it to move through and there are other ways too if you're filling with a converter it pulls the ink through the feed so the ink's already there but with eyedropper it doesn't really do that there are ways to prime it. I just, it's hard with a sample, unfortunately. Because you only get so much. All right, here we go. Maybe. Oh, so close. Ah, there we go. All right, cool. So this is much darker out of the pen. is quite the purple though. That's pretty great. All right. I am going to write this down on the ink journal before I can forget because I really like this purple. I might buy this one. I don't know yet. Or I might hold off until closer to my anniversary because my an okay. How do I put this? Um, <laughs> so we don't really do surprise gifts for our anniversary. We pick exactly what we want pretty far ahead of time, and then we budget for it, and we buy it. So, for my upcoming anniversary in June, I picked the Purple Pilot Falcon, so that I can have all three of the cool Pilot Falcon colors. And I wanted to get a couple inks with it, and I think that ink would actually match it really, really well. So, yeah, I might pick that up. All right. So next we have the blue peppermint, which I'm going to want to shake up a little bit because it has glitter in it, and I don't want it to all settle on the bottom. hard to swatch glitter inks too because I have a hard time getting the glitter. I don't know if I got any or not. It's a really pretty shade of uh, <laughs> teal I guess. Um, mint. It's in that family along with most of my other inks. You know how it is. So it's gonna go in this one but I just realized I need to wash this out first so I'm actually just gonna end the video here. But thank you so much for watching with me, especially since this is not my normal format at all. And uh, I hope you guys have a great week. Thank you.